Hello, my name is Fred Lunenberg, Senior Sales Engineer with Regal Rexman. Today, I'll be demonstrating how to connect Rex Engineered Steel Chain with the Rex Pro Field Connection. I'm going to start by providing you with a list of tools that will be needed to connect the chain with the Rex Pro Field Connection. We use only professional tools, devices, and auxiliary materials. You will need four tools to perform this task. An impact driver with a minimum of 750 pound-feet of torque, the proper socket for your chain, per the instruction sheet, a hammer with a weight range of 3 to 5 kilograms or 6 to 12 pounds, a clean cloth or shop rag, and a tape measure. Remember to always follow your site's safety protocols, including PPE. Next, we are going to talk about what to do when you receive the chain. First, inspect the chain for any damage that may have occurred during shipping. When you receive your Rex Pro chain, the field connection will be loosely assembled at the end of each strand or it will be shipped separately. Then, ensure that all of the components are present. Two nuts, two washers, a cotter side sidebar, a head side sidebar with two pins pre-pressed, a tube of grease, and instructions. On to the installation. The first step is to disassemble the field connection link. Loosen the nuts and remove them from the pins. Remove the washers and cotter side sidebar which is stamped with a C in front of the date code from the pins. Inspect the pins and nuts. These parts should be free of nicks, burrs, and damage to the threads. A nick or a burr on the pin can damage the cotter side pinhole, which could affect chain life. Damage to the pin threads on the pin or the nut can result in stripping the threads on the nut which will prevent a proper fit in the sidebar. If the pin threads are damaged, this can be addressed by chasing the threads with the appropriate thread die set. If the nut is damaged, replace the nut. Using a clean cloth, wipe clean the connecting pins, nuts, washers, and the internal diameter of the bushings of the chain segments to be joined. Components should be clean and free of debris or contaminants. If your chain includes seals, wipe clean the outer area of the sidebar that the seals will come in contact with, including the seal retaining feature on the end of the bushings. Spread lubricant from the seal kit onto the seals, into the seal retainer, and along the surfaces of the sidebar where seals contact. Install the seals into the seal retaining feature of the bushings. To aid installation, generously apply lubricant from the tube to the pin threads and the exposed diameter of the pin. Bring the block links of the chain sections to be joined together so that the pin link pins line up with the bushings of the sections to be joined. Slide the pin link pins through the bushings. Using a clean cloth, wipe clean the pitch holes of the cotter side sidebar. Pitch holes should be clean and free of debris or contaminants. Apply lubricant from the tube to the pitch holes. Insert the cotter side sidebar onto the pins. The pitch holes should align with the pin diameters. When complete, the pin shoulder should be partially inserted into the cotter side sidebar pitch holes. It is important to make sure the stamp faces outward and that the attachment orientation of the connection link matches the other links in the chain segment. Apply lubricant from the tube to the outward face of the washers. Slide the washers onto the pins until they rest against the cotter side sidebar. Tighten the nuts until finger tight. Note that the threads will not protrude from the end of the nut. Tighten the nuts with the impact driver, alternating between the nuts, about one revolution per hit. Continue alternating 
until the washer hits the hard stop and the cotter side sidebar is fully seated on the pin. Use a tape measure to measure the distance between the cotter side and the head side sidebars and compare the measurement to the dimensions listed in Table 1 of the instructions for your chain. Failure to tighten the nuts in an alternating pattern can cock the sidebar on the pins, which might prevent a proper fit. If the sidebar becomes cocked, recover by backing off the nuts completely and tapping the pin firmly on the tight side until the alignment improves. Proper operation of the chain requires a free articulating joint. Inability to articulate the chain joint will cause erratic chain action and could result in damage to the chain, equipment, and personal injury. The chain must articulate or rotate freely at the chain joint. The force applied to the nut deforms the thread of the nut, preventing it from backing off due to vibration. The nut can be staked at your discretion, but is not required. The chain relies on the interference fit of the pin and the sidebar. The nut is not holding the chain together. Do not tack weld the nut. Heat and weld grounding can damage the chain and shorten chain life. That completes the installation of the Rex Pro Fuel Connection. If you have any additional questions, contact us via email. Rex Pro Engineered Steel Chain. Safer, faster, easier.